He's the UFC's first dual weight champion. There's a possible super fight with Floyd Mayweather Jr. on the cards. And let's face it, when he talks, we listen. I'm a pimp. Rocky Guilty Mick. And without me, this whole thing. You just can't deny the Conor McGregor effect. And none more so than in his native island. But even though MMA continues to grow, it isn't recognized as a legitimate sport. We're, we're on the process. We're meeting with the government. We've, we're, we're working with IMA, who's the Irish Mixed Martial Arts Association, IMA the world body, and we're sitting down with the Sports Council in Ireland, and we're in the procedure of doing all that at the moment. Ireland is rich in culture, but there's a stereotype that continues to stick, the fighting Irish label. I struggle to think or find someone in the combat industry who would not like the term fighting Irish if they're Irish. Ireland's a fighting country, you know? They play Gaelic football, they fight. They play hurling, they fight. Rugby, fight, you know? It's a, I wouldn't say it's looking for a fight, it's just more the competitiveness that the Irish guys have when they get involved in sports. And with words such as violent, disturbing and sadistic used to describe the sport, it would seem that MMA is finding trouble being accepted by other sporting organisations. We saw it in the 90s in, in America, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, individual disciplines like Taekwondo, kickboxing, they all kind of lost out when people were going towards MMA gyms where they can learn a, a multiple, multiple disciplines at the same time. And every time you kind of push for MMA to be legalized, you always see a pushback from the traditional martial arts. Even this year, IMAF, they're the, the world governing body for MMA. They tried to um, become signatories to the WADA code. And they reached every criteria to get the WADA code, but they were black, bl blocked by other people who had already been involved. Like, again, like you were saying, judo, taekwondo, all these traditional martial arts did not want MMA in there because, again, it kind of takes away from them. Although envy may be a factor, questions remain over safety. The death of 28-year-old Gial Cavallo in Dublin last year sparked concerns about the credibility of the sport. So the sport has evolved tenfold um, on the medical side of things. We're doing full Nevada State Athletic Commission medicals. So they've got to do an MRI, an MRA of the head and the neck. Uh, they've got to get their bloods. All, all the blood's done, to be clear. They gotta get uh, their eyes tested. They gotta get that physical. Every fighter has to be registered with Safe MMA. And on that Safe MMA registry, it shows every fighter who's medically cleared to compete. And if you're not cleared medically by Safe MMA, we can't use you. So, this is it. Months of training, dedication, and sacrifice all comes down to nights like these. It's an honor. That's why I go out there and I put everything out there. I, I don't BS, I don't do anything but say I'm going to go and fight. I can't put in the words how good this feels. I mean, it's been a lifelong dream from, from when I was a baby. To be a world champion in MMA is unbelievable. And someone who knows a thing or two about creating world champions is John Kavanagh, the man behind Conor McGregor. There's many great teams and many great fighters out of Ireland. We have it in our blood, it seems to be in our spirit. Even watching those amateur contests this evening, the future is bright and I'm glad I gave it a little bit of a push to get going. But after the bright lights of fight night, what does the future hold for MMA in Ireland? I'm not on a team, it's just me in there. And it's just me, like if I lose, it's because it was my skill or something wrong with me. If I win, it's all, it's all on me. Well, it boosts me confidence a lot. Like, I noticed from the, like, I was in there a few months and I just got more confident, but not, like, not in a cocky way, you know I mean? Just real, like, I felt more, like, confident in myself. The, the sky's the limit to where it goes in Ireland, you know? There's a massive market here for MMA, and people forget that this sport is only 20 years old. Every other sport in the world is hundreds of years old. So we're, we're still educating and we're still teaching people what the sport is about. And um, the rise of Connor in Ireland has put the sport tenfold through the roof. Ireland may only have a population of around four and a half million, but the pride behind the tricolour of green, white and orange knows no boundaries. The support from the fans is undeniable, but the reality is the fight for MMA to be recognised and respected as a sport in the Emerald Isle has just begun.